Sooner or later, I'm going to have to talk about money again. It's funny, I, I think about doing videos and, and I think about it for weeks and I don't, I just, I just don't want to do a video. And then all of a sudden, in one night, I'm like, I need to talk about this, I need to talk about that. I need to talk. Anyway, money. Because we get told constantly that money, and especially modern fiat currency, is some sort of like technological advancement almost. As if the, the, the idea of, of being forced to use fake money is for our own benefit. Uh, money is a thing of value. Anything of value can and will be used as money if people are allowed to do so. In ancient times, grain was a very common form of money. In uh, the New England and in, in the New World, in America, in the early you know settlement period, tobacco, very common form of money. Anything that has some sort of general value, it's valued widespread, it's, it's highly valued, you know, and that's why gold is such a big deal all through history. Yeah, gold is kind of heavy as a metal or anything, but it's rare, and it's pretty, and it doesn't rust. And so, therefore, gold has served as a kind of money, uh, sort of a generic bartering thing uh, throughout the world for a long time. And money is not it's not an advancement. The money that we use today, the little paper slips, are basically very much like checks, except instead of a personal check, these are generic checks. And back in the day, they used to issue these things in denominations to a person who actually had gold. <laughs> and the bank's job was to keep the gold safe. And you actually had to pay the bank to keep the gold safe, so you had to have quite a bit of gold before you wanted to bother to give the bank gold and then take out the little slips of money. And slowly over time, what the banks started finding out was that they could lend the money even though they had promised the guy that they would keep it safe. That's called partial reserve lending. Partial reserve lending is lending money you don't have. Partial reserve lending is lending some other guy's money, and back in the day, they even went so far as to do it without letting them know. But what happened is they got caught and they got punished, but at some point, people began to realize, you know, this works. This works. It works in the sense that the banks make money off of it. And so, since they saw that they were making money off of it, they wrapped it up. You know, you ever heard this, this uh, term, spin? They spun it. It's, it's not an advancement, but they spun it as an advancement. And the way they spun it was, is they said, well, all of this extra money <laughs> lubricates the process of trade. <laughs> well, of course it lubricates it. You're lying to people, taking stuff and <laughs> using fake money. You're getting tons of money, and there's lots of trade going on, and you're getting the benefit of all of it, and everybody else is working their butts off doing actual work. And you're lending fake money. You know, back in the day, the money itself was a slip of paper. That's fake. It's not the actual gold. It's fake money. Even partial reserve lending is fake money. And the reason we have graduated to fiat money is in 1971 or so, Nixon decided it would be a fun idea to just cut gold completely out of the picture altogether. And he decided that because the bankers and the investors had screwed it up so bad that they didn't have enough gold to cover all their obligations. You know what happens to you or me when we learn out of money to cover all our obligations? We end up in the street. That's what happened to me. <laughs> and what will happen to you if you run out of money? You'll end up in the street. What happens to bankers is they get the government to steal for them. And this is the problem of our age. You know, we had a big problem with the Soviet Union's brand of communism, and that was kind of a little distraction for a while. But <laughs> Before that, we had the 70s. We had the collapse of the monetary system. We had Carter and double-digit inflation. This is the thing we need to fix, folks. And the way to fix it is to understand that money, specifically fiat money, that is to say... Fake-ass money 
is not a technological advancement. It is not a social construct. Money, real money, is something of value. And if you ain't got it in your hot little hand, then you're extending credit to someone. And if you are forced to extend credit to someone even though you don't want to, that's called tyranny. So if you want to know what to reform, one of the primary things that you ought to be looking at is the monetary system. And the reform you need to be looking at is to return to commodity money. Oh, they're going to scream, and oh, they're going to tell you I'm stupid, but they're lying to you. You need to return to commodity money. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.